Okay, what we've got here is Wanda is using her hoss tool uh, container there that she holds around her to pick figs in. This thing makes it really easy here on the homestead to be able to pick figs. And I'm going to give her a hand going through here. Another way Wanda totes her hoss tool thing, it fits perfectly around her shoulders and across the back. Makes it easy for her to tote it. Load it down with figs again this morning, another two to three gallons. Today we're going to make whole figs. Okay, what I'm going to show you is what we do to process them whole in a quart jar in a light syrup. First of all, with figs, you want when you pick them, you want to make sure you take the stems off. As you can see this stem, it has to come off. And you don't want to take this lip around here, this part that's still flesh, when you're doing canned figs, most people peel the figs and they take this top neck off. We're not going to do that. For whole figs, you want to leave all this intact. You just want the stem off. And on the bottom, you do not want it split. When figs get really ripe, this is what they look like. The bottoms will start splitting. These are the ones you save for making candied figs or strawberry fig preserves or mashed figs, whatever you're going to, dried figs, if you're going to do that, these are your really, really juicy ones. But for what we're doing today, you do not want split ones. You want the bottoms and the neck still intact. What I'm doing with the basket is I'm taking my figs and I'm checking them to make sure they're not split. And I'm putting them in here. I will get a basket full of them and then we will start our processing. This basket holds approximately, when we get through with the process, it's going to be about a quart jar. So we're going to show you one quart, and this is what we do. I have water boiling here. I'm going to put the figs in, give them two minutes, and take them right back out and drain them. In this pot, we are putting our light syrup mixture to four cups of water. I add one cup of sugar. Now you can use organic sugar or whatever. Uh, when we're canning we just buy regular cane sugar. We always buy cane sugar. And so in this pot I have three of those mixtures. I filled this up three times, this up three times. You get one cup of sugar to four cups of water. That makes a really light syrup. If you like them sweeter, you'd put two cups of sugar to four cups. If you like them syrup, you could put four cups of sugar to four cups of water. It's your choice. We just do not want the sugar. So for this recipe, four cups of water, one cup of sugar. We will bring this to a bowl. These are fixing to be coming out in just a few seconds and they're going into this mixture for five minutes. Right now I have three, I've already cooked three baskets or heated them at, for two minutes in boiling water. That's simply to blanch the figs. They're, those three baskets are already in my light syrup and they're going for five minutes. While we're doing that, it's not going to be quite enough for a canner. So when we pick, the first few days you don't get very many figs. So we take and put them in Ziploc bags and freeze them. So to have enough for a couple of more jars so that my canner will be full, I'm taking these semi-frozen figs out. 
they have been thawing for a couple of hours. These have all been uh, gone through simply for this process. They've already been de-stemmed. They've already been checked to make sure that they're good figs, not busted. And they are still uh, just not really frozen, but just in a semi-frozen state, I guess you would say, just a little old ice. But when they hit the hot water, I will leave them an extra minute or so to make sure that they are blanched. And I brought in enough figs to do probably two baskets, which should give me a couple of extra quarts. Okay, so we've got our figs ready. I've got one of my hot jars I just took out. I've got my strainer spoon that I'm going to use to dip them out. My pot with my first couple of batches of figs in it, in their light syrup. The first thing we do is add lemon juice. You put two tablespoons of lemon juice in each quart jar. And you do that before you fill the jar up. And they are a touch, I mean, they're starting to get on the soft side now, but you don't want to mash them. You have to be very careful not to mash them and bust them open. I take this and get some of the liquid. This is your light syrup, and it's kind of a pink color. I don't know if you can see that yet or not, but the figs will turn it a pink color. And you fill it, just like you would any other jar, to the bottom of the rim. You have to wipe the rim of the jar to get the sticky because figs are extremely sticky with from the light syrup plus the latex that's in the figs. We cap them. With hot caps and we're going to put them in a water bath canner for 50 minutes for quarts. If you're only doing pints, it's 45 minutes for pints. Okay, so we have seven quarts of whole figs in a water bath canner, and we've got to leave them for 50 minutes. So when they start to boil, we will let them go for 50 minutes. Okay, I'm trying to show you now the ring. I'll turn it different ways, and hopefully it will show a ring that the latex from the figs put in your pots when you boil anything in them. That is very hard to get out of. I've seen many people post many things with it. I tried almost everything to start with. The one thing that works, olive oil. I take olive oil and I have it in this little bowl. Put my hands in it and rub. It pulls that sticky surface off of there and breaks it up. And you just wash as usual when you get through. If it's kneaded, if it's a little bit harder or boiled on a little more, you can use a scratch pad and run it over it. Then I have my hot water and I'm using ivory, but you can use Dawn, whatever. And just wash the sides of the pan stand really good. Okay. There's no stickiness, nothing left in your pan. I did a, another pan just a few minutes ago. Stainless steel is really, really easy to clean with this, with the olive oil. This one had a brown ring about this far up, all the way around it, dark brown. I rubbed it with oil, took the scratcher, just rubbed, made sure it was broke loose, washed it with my ivory. Clean, no sticky feeling. So to get rid of latex from the figs, 
use all of